Hi everyone, it's Taryn. And Stella from Maple University. Today we'll be teaching you how to play Camel Up the Card Game. Game designed by Stefan Borgen and published by Pretzel Games. Let's get to the game. Based on the original board game, Camel Up the Card Game is a new, compact and tactical iteration of the classic betting and racing game Camel Up. Using cards tactically drawn by the players, the camels will race each other along the course, carrying each other on their backs, leapfrogging each other to their advantage, all the while avoiding the disruptive crazy camel. The players meanwhile will be placing bets on the end of the race and on in-race occurrences. The game ends once any camel has finished the race, bets are paid out, and whoever earns the most total money wins the game. To set up, separate all of the different types of cards. The cards that say Camel Up on the back are the racing cards, and within those you'll find the five cards which show the black crazy camel, and keep them separate. Cards with a money table are betting cards, and you should sort them by colour. Sequence the track cards by number, ready for the rest of setup. Keep the individual fennec and shortcut cards to the side for now, and then find the leg setup card which corresponds to your player count. This card represents the length of the race. So take the corresponding track cards and lay them out in any geometry with the finish line at the end. Place the five coloured racing camels in a row behind the start line. Place the black crazy camel on space number seven, pointing backwards towards the start of the track. Now choose the racing camel's starting positions. You'll shuffle up all of the coloured racing cards, leaving the black ones to the side. Then draw five cards one after the other and move the camels forward. This follows the normal rules of movement, which we'll describe in the next section. Shuffle those five cards back into the racing deck. Lay out all of the betting cards, organised by colour and by icon. Within each stack showing the laurel, there'll be four cards, and sort them so that the one showing the highest gold coin value is on top, and lowest is on the bottom. Each player receives starting resources of three pounds, a shortcut token, and a fennec token. Choose a first player, and you're now ready to play. Camel Up the Card Game is a betting game, in which players will be betting on the outcome of a single camel race, while also making best use of cards and other effects to influence the race. The race is broken down into a series of individual legs. And in each leg, there will be a single stack of racing cards, which dictates how the camels move in this leg. Players will be able to lay bets both on the outcome of the entire race, and on the individual outcomes of each leg. A leg ends once its deck of racing cards is exhausted. The race is paused while players pay out any leg bets that they won and then you'll reset and carry on with the race as it lies to start the next leg. To set up a leg, first shuffle all 30 of the coloured racing cards into a face down deck. Deal a number of these to each player based on this number on your setup card. So here at four players, it would be six cards. Players look at their own cards secretly and then distribute them as shown here. Here, three cards would be discarded from the leg face down. Two cards would be added to the racing deck face down. This single deck is shared by all players, so in this four player game, you would have eight cards added to the racing deck in this step. Each player's remaining card is placed face up in front of the player. If you're playing with either five or six players, you will now also add a number of random cards from the top of the remaining deck into the racing deck. This will be two in a five player game, and it should be three in a six player game. This is outlined in the rule book, but is a misprint on the card. Now take the five set aside crazy camel cards, shuffle them up, and add two to the racing deck at random, putting the rest aside face down. 
Shuffle the entire resultant racing deck. A leg of the race is played in turns, starting from the first player and going clockwise around the table. On your turn, you must take exactly one racetrack action, and you may take one betting action. You may take these actions in either order. There are three different options for your racetrack action. You could place the shortcut or fennec. You could reveal the top card of the racing deck to move a random camel. Or you could play a face-up camel card to move that camel. The first option is to play the shortcut or fennec. In order to take this action, you must still have your token that corresponds to that card, and must discard it from the game. That feature's card must also still be available in the general supply. Take that card to your collection, and then take the matching marker and place it in an empty space on the racetrack. You cannot place it on the finish line, and you cannot place it behind the last placed camel. How these tokens influence the race we'll show you shortly. Your second option is to reveal and resolve a card from the racing deck. You'll now move the matching camel forward the number of spaces shown on the card. Normally, you'll simply move the camel forward the number of spaces shown. If a camel finishes its movement on the same space as another camel, then it jumps on top of that camel, forming a stack. Critically, this also leapfrogs it in position. A camel on top of another camel is considered ahead of it in the race. So, before this move, the blue camel was third and red was second, but after it, blue is second and red is third. If a camel moves and there are any camels on that camel's back, then it carries them along for the ride, like so. There is no limit to how high a single camel stack could be. If a camel in the middle of a stack moves, then it brings only the camels on top of itself, not the ones below. The black camel is called the crazy camel. It's not in the race, it's just a wild camel that's gotten on the track and is running in the wrong direction. When you draw a crazy camel card, simply move it that many steps in the direction it's facing. The crazy camel follows all normal stacking rules. It can jump on top of other camels, and other camels can jump on top of it. However, being less well trained, when a crazy camel has any camels on its back, then it increases its movement by one step. It goes a little bit crazier from all of that extra stress. With this zero having been drawn and a camel on its back, the crazy camel would move one step. Even if there were two or three camels stacked on the crazy camel, the extra movement would only be one. If any camels move backwards off the end of the track, then unstack them and place them all next to each other. Camels are never stacked behind the starting line and are all considered to be an equal fifth. If one or more camels ever lands on the shortcut, then move that stack of camels an additional space in the direction the camel is facing, following normal stacking rules. That means the crazy camel on a shortcut will move an extra step towards the starting line. If one or more camels lands on the fennec space, then the stack moves one step backwards, but does not follow normal stacking rules. Instead, it will go underneath any stack on the prior space. Once again, this moves the crazy camel backwards relative to its facing direction. Either way, when one of these tokens is resolved, remove it from the board, and the player with its card returns it to the general supply. The third option for your racetrack action is to play a face-up camel card, and resolve its movement the same way that we just described. This highly tactical option gives you the flexibility to move camels at the times which are most suited to your bets. You may choose either to play your own face-up card for free, or pay one pound to any other player to play that player's card, moving the camel accordingly. On your turn, you may choose to place one bet. And this involves taking any single face-up card from the betting area and adding it to your collection. There are four different types of bet. 
The bets showing the laurel are leg winner bets. You are betting on which camel you think will be leading at the end of the next leg. Depending on how early you get in, these bets will give you five, three, or two pounds if you're correct, one pound if your camel is coming second, or lose one pound for any other result. These bets showing the two geometric icons are leg midfield bets. You'll get two pounds if your camel is coming exactly third, one pound if it's coming second or fourth, and lose one if it's coming first or fifth. You can take any combination of these bets, including duplicates, and these will all be settled at the end of the current leg. These bets showing the chequered flag are race winner bets. When you place one of these bets, you'll hang on to it until the very end of the race, and you'll earn seven pounds if your camel wins, three if it comes second, and lose one for any other result. The black flag are race end loser bets, and this time you'll earn seven pounds if you've bet on the fifth place camel, three pounds on the fourth place, and lose one otherwise. You may hold only one race winner and one race loser bet at any given time. You can lay another one of these types of bets, but must return the bet you've done previously in order to take the new one. Whatever it is you choose to bet on, your action is always the same when you take a betting action. Simply take any one face-up card from the display. A leg ends immediately once the final card from the racing deck has been drawn and resolved. It doesn't matter whether players still have racing cards face up in front of them, it's only the racing deck that matters. On this final turn, the active player is not allowed to take a betting action after drawing the card, only before. Then give the first player marker to the next player in turn order after the current player. Determine the current racing order based on the rules we've already explained. Here, purple is leading, then yellow, then green, and then blue and red are both considered equal fifth. Now gain money for each of your successful leg bets, and lose money for any unsuccessful bets. You also lose one pound if you played a shortcut or fennec card, but it hasn't yet been resolved on the map you may never drop below zero pounds. Now set up for the next leg. Now return all leg betting cards back to the board in their original locations and orders, but hang on to any of your end of race betting cards. These do not get returned between legs. Return the Fennec and Shortcut cards to the supply and remove their tokens from the race if necessary. Give each player back any Fennec or Shortcut token they spent last round. You'll next make a series of adjustments to the racetrack in order to keep the race close. Firstly, if there are fewer than three empty spaces between the lead camel and the finish line, extend the racetrack with some of the leftover cards from setup until there are exactly three. Skip this step once you've run out of extra racetrack cards. Secondly, if the crazy camel is positioned behind the fourth placed racing camel, then change its position to being exactly three steps ahead of the leading camel. If that's not possible because you've run out of extra racetrack cards, place the crazy camel on the finish line. Then resolve sandstorms. If there are any completely empty cards between the leading camel and the trailing camel, flip them over to the sandstorm side. Now there's only a single space on that card instead of two. Finally, gather up all 30 of the coloured racing cards again, and then prepare your new hands and deck the same way you did in the previous leg. The game ends immediately once one or more camels reaches the finish line and the card that brought it there has been fully resolved. This counts as the end of the final leg of the race. So pay out any end of leg bets and end of leg penalties the way you normally would. Then settle your end of race bets. The player or players with the most money wins. And that's how to play Camel Up the Card Game. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.
very much for watching. Everything you do will help us. Every single view, every time you like our videos, our Instagram, every single comment, and let us know that you're there. And make sure you're doing something fun today. Thanks so much. See you next time.